Thank you for your interest in this add-on. To install, go to Edit, Preference. Locate the zip file and install. You can find the add-on on the right side. The first couple of operators are simple Boolean union and Boolean difference, nothing fancy. The Boolean object is automatically put into a cutter collection and hidden. When it comes to the slice cutter, there is a line width slider, which can adjust all of line width on the base object. The intersect panel operator creates new sub-panel for more interesting shapes. For example, it can quickly generates the pictured shape. For all of these Boolean operations, Blender offer fast and exact method. In case of Boolean glitch, click the button will toggle the method for all of the Boolean modifiers on the object. Please note, exact Boolean method would slow down the calculation. Next is create plates. The common usage is turn a selection of faces into new plate object. Or add thickness to a retopo mesh. It can be used for creating knee pad, shoulder pad from a base mesh. Or use the plate as a slice object to cut back to the base. Quick cloth button will turn a selected object into cloth simulation. Or turn selected face into a new cloth simulation object. Its density is defined by cloth resolution slider. In edit mode, select some elements and run, select as pin to cloth, will pin them for new interesting cloth. The topology remains the same. 1000 cloth resolution is a good starting point, and it only take effect when quick cloth is pressed. Depends on the result. Increase the cloth resolution, simulation time and subdivision for better cloth details. Higher the number, more realistic the folds. But it take longer to compute. Simulation time will adjust how long the simulation runs. 20 seems to be a good point, balancing the speed and quality. Higher the inflatable factor, bigger the cloth can get with proper pressure. Otherwise, a smaller number does not inflate much. Wrinkle detail slider add another layer to enhance the fold details. Apply cloth simulation is the same as apply all modifiers. I often need to switch the gizmo between global and normal orientation. This toggles them. Some object has the same orientation as global. If move along a certain direction, one has to create a custom orientation. Pivot to select, moves the object pivot point to the selected element. At the same time, it will create a custom orientation like the selected element, and automatically switch to it, which saves a bit of time. In object mode, it will pivot to object center. Quick Smooth, will shade smooth the object, turn auto smooth angle on, and set its smooth angle. It can set multiple objects at the same time, which would save a few clicks. When the quick cloth simulation has played, the loop playback is disabled. Click Enable Loop Playback to return to default Blender behavior. Rest of the display toggle will do as they suggest. Silhouette is a quick way to check the design shape. Matcap can check if there is any weird face normals. 
Vertex Color can check the object vertex color for ID baking. Texture display will see if UV is unwrapped properly. I have assigned shortcuts to the commonly used operators. If you go to Preference and Key Map, search Handy. You can see all the shortcuts. Change or disable them according to your liking. That will be all. Thank you for your time.